Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and it's Friday. I'll say no more and it's a DIY art bin design team haul and a project share in which I've used four of the dies that I received. I used two dies on each of the projects. So first up is a gorgeous little cheeky sun. I really love that. I think that's going to be beautiful cutting foil. And you've got a very delicate rainbow there. I'll do a zoomy in. And then I've got a really nice abstract rainbow. You've got stars, hearts and dots for that one. This one actually cuts the holes into the paper. And that would be the second one that goes underneath the star one. That's a really lovely die. And then I have a Valentine fish with a cheeky little face and he's running along with a little heart there in his flippers I do believe <laughs> after having looked at the website and I was sent two cute little valentine dinosaurs and I did one that's very similar to this but the larger one as my project and then I received a patchwork heart with all the little patches and stuff it's really good to have this because, of course, we're coming up to Valentine's Day and we haven't done Christmas yet. And there is another rainbow with this section here cutting around the outside that will cut into the paper. And this is all connected, so that makes it super easy. So that's a nice one. Probably get a shaker out of that. And then this, which is really cute, and it's a little sort of like chubby vintage telephone. I really like that. I'm going to be making that one shortly. And a set of candy. I am somebody who loves ice cream and candy type dyes. And then this really cute country style kitchen set with the pot holders. And you've even got the little apple there that sits onto the oven mitt. Now that could be used on its own as well so that's really sweet and you've got some little cherries that go onto the pot holder and so you've got the top of it and you've got the base of it isn't that lovely that nice for summer and also for uh, thanksgiving you know if you've got a one of those little apple pie dies or something oh and then we get glamorous with shoes so there's one pair of shoes I actually like that sort of waffle embossing on the heel there. These are quite large. In fact, I'm going to grab my ruler because I think I've got three of them and they're all roughly the same size. That's three and a half inches. So there's one glamorous again, that waffle embossed heel. And you've got a little extra bow with that and some trim. I like those little bubbly bits there because you can put your bling, get your bling stones and dot it into there. And then I've got a pair of flatties or ballet shoes and you've got different designs there. So those are really sweet. Same size again if I lay them down. So you're looking at three and a half inches. And then I've got a cute little springtime bear. You can see his face there just over the label with little butterflies and little flowers and then I've got a couple of lovebirds which go together and they make the shape of a heart I'm going to have to make that one because it's not very apparent looking at it either that or you'll have to click on the link for the website and then I got another sort of rainbow but that could be oceany as well you could just run that along um, the width of a slimline one of the smaller ones in your slimline dies you can have seashells starfish uh, seahorses or fishes and rather than use it as a rainbow you could actually use that as water so that's a really nice one and then these are the ones that i have used and you can tell they're all cut apart and they're a mess in the bag so i've used one of the rainbows this one comes with two little fluffy clouds and it's got the hearts in it I use that larger dinosaur that hugs its heart it looks like a little heart pillow and I used a rabbit that comes inside of a teacup with a little spoon and I've also used a, a sort of daisy die set that I received 
Right, I hope my throat's not too croaky. First up, and we have the Amorous Diplodocus. <laughs> Isn't it cute? No wonder they became extinct, bless them. <laughs> He's all heart but no chocolates. There's that gorgeous little rainbow. Isn't that cute? I'm just being unashamedly pink today. And all of the hearts that came out of the rainbow, I just scattered them across the rest of the card. Now, these slimline die frames are surprise creation. And they're one of my favourites because I just think they suit those, those cute little critters. Ooh, how close can we go? Big grey here today. Look at the toenails. Aren't they wonderful? With little white toenails. And I had got a lot of this pink card stock so I've used a lot of it today I've used those 1.5 mil flat backs for the eyes there he's got his little nostrils but yeah isn't that sweet and that rainbow is gorgeous you can do them in whatever color you want to but like I said I'm I'm just being pink today and then next up is the bunny in the cup and I use the daisy die set to go with that I use some of my Dollar Tree crepe paper that comes on a roll here. You get ever such a lot. I've used quite a bit off that one as well. And you just um, stitch it along with a piece of uh, thread and then just pull it tight. And you've got yourself a little crepe ruffle or rosette there to go behind anything that you want. But isn't that rabbit looking just a little bit serious and concerned? I think I might be as well if I was squashed inside a teacup. But just really, really cute. And I use my white pen to do the dots and the stripes on the bow. You've got those cute little daisies or marguerites, whatever it is you like to call them. And there's that teaspoon. And of course, if you go onto the website, you can see all of these embossed areas um, on the image there on the website are cross-hatched with a black pen. Now you could absolutely do that if you want to and putting something like that into a journal or a bit of mixed media would look absolutely fabulous. But I just left it all white so that you could see and then just gel pen, which is somewhere here because it always has to be somewhere here, which is this. And uh, I just highlighted the eyes, tiny little bit of black cardstock glued behind there for the nose and I just think that's really really sweet right so as I said it's Friday and that's what I had for you today extinct diplodocus and cute little bunny and I hope you have a fabulous weekend I know we're getting very close to Christmas day now and I can tell you that Monday and Tuesday I will be up next week. I'm not quite sure what with, but then I am taking the rest of that time off for Christmas, but I'm doing a special video for Christmas Day, which is the creation of my lighted shadow box, which is going to have all of that sort of like country florals and stuff in there and I've got my fairy lights and my shadow box and everything ready to make that and let's hope we don't have any disasters but that is specifically for Christmas Day because as I've said before a lot of people Christmas is really hard for them and I know it's not my responsibility to make everybody's life happy but I do hope that it's something you can watch on Christmas Day and enjoy if you're on your own or you find Christmas hard. Right, have an awesome weekend as usual, all links below and I will see you on Monday. Bye.